why are you talking about this? Because I feel like it. I can't stop ranting. And it, I'm still stuck on this FBRC I topic, and I know it's the la I'm gonna. This is the last day. I'm not gonna mention or comment or put him, tag him anymore. That's it. That's it. But what I wanted to say is that uh, two years I've been following. I met him along the way over one year. Over one year I've been supporting and part of his channel. And. Uh, I have chatted to Foodie Beauty. I had the opportunity. You, you, if you want to pay, you can chat to her. You can do that. I never wanted to. But because I'm known in the community and everything, you know, it just happened that we uh, chit chat a little bit. And that even she, she didn't tell me, you know, she, even if she's a liar and she's a shitty person, she could have said, you know, when I said, yeah, FBRC kicked me out of the chair, why, 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 I'm crying, I'm sad, like an idiot that I am. She could have said, you're the idiot, why are you with FBRC? She just said, don't sweat it, you know, he's a weirdo. That was a very, very mature reply and response, and I have to give credit to that. I'm not a hypocrite. I can't be. That I've been two years in this toxic well, world and I'm a little bit messed up. Of course, I I'm. I learned a lot. I'm learning. I don't support foodie beauty. That's for sure. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. I almost broke. How many laptops I broke hitting the screen looking at her? But she was. She reacted and treated me a little bit better than than FBRC. And. I, I leave it at that and you make your own conclusion and you can tell me what you think about it. I don't have any New Year's resolution, no. I know in the end it's a stupid Thank story, you. but it's my YouTube experience. It's part of my my YouTube world or experience. I shared. Peace, everyone.